And uh, but now things have changed. One thing is the territorial family. Another thing is sisters working in different combinations. This we just was sharing with you yesterday of how the union of Supreme General here in Rome gives regularly an organized excellent program. And each one is learning and contributing to the other. But how do we, we create this solidarity, collaborating, networking with others? The challenge of not feeling an emotional high comes up with a of time when you become a voice for the voiceless, for the vulnerable, you're feeling a sad. You know, you, you're not running a home like, uh, just say, uh, I have great admiration for Mother Teresa, for Mother Teresa's sisters, and I've been closely involved with them in India and other parts of the world, and so on. But they also become missing pieces. People are going to see that you have to come. People are going to see the work, you know, and then the sisters be nice, and you know, well, but when you're looking to the job, this can be able, and they all these works are important and so on. But very often, when you're, you're running a school, running a very elaborated uh, institution, or like the good Jesuits running a high profile, you know, university like the Georgetown University, to be good, everybody wants to come, you know, from the Clintons to Obama and so on. And you have the right connections, you have the best basketball team, you know, and it's all good. But then when you're taking a stand, then you're doing like what the Belgian brothers have done, what the nuns of the bus have done, what people like Mr. Carroll have done in the United States, okay? And taking a visible and vocal stand against what is wrong with the church, with society, okay? No one in these people can accept it. You don't get emotional high. Some people clap at and some people say they are CPs. CP is a separate Prakash, but CP is also a crack voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, the challenge of giving to fatigue. When you are responding to concerns, there is a challenge. You feel tired. Not only really when will I ever learn, when will the world change? I'm tired. I walked too much during the day and I couldn't speak the whole time and now I'm setting Prakash session I can see, but, but I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I don't want to get involved anymore. I want to get out. There is, and many, many people have said it. Many people have given up. Many people have to cry to the status quo. Then come, you know, the chance to also feel the loss, the need for updating. How relevant was yesterday, 11th of November at the 11th hour of 2000, uh, 1918, at the end of the First World War, when the whole Amistad was, was, was it relevant to us? Was it relevant that Pope Francis had to say, no war again? Was it relevant that Macron said, stop this nationalism? Okay? And Germany perhaps is just now about the only country in the Western world that is trying, and we are not doing this beauty very, very badly. And she's giving it, she's replacing it, okay? If, uh, uh, you know, and she says, I have no longer been the, the chancellor because there is an upsurge of right wing nationalism. But how do we study? How do we document things in Africa, in Cameroon, in Congo, in Zimbabwe? in other parts of Africa that we, we come from, in South America, in Brazil, in Colombia. Lots of things have been happening. Um, there was the Nobel Peace Prize for the President of Colombia just a couple of years ago. That was very important. But has the war actually stopped them? What did I engage in? You know, are we studying? Are we documenting things? Because women are capable of tremendous amounts of, of Intellectual acumen. Women have contributed significantly to the ongoing process of the world. But can we, uh, you know, need men and all that to learn more, to do much more? The challenge is to be visible and vocal. We 
cannot be concerned about what is happening around us if we are not visible, if we are not broken. Let your light shine. We cannot light a candle and put it under our bushes. We have to be a salvatore, visible and broken. Even if you are going to do a simple thing like vocation promotion, we need to have got some excellent hand out there, excellent booklet on the salvatore. We need to propagate our help. We need to protect people. Know that they are taking a stand. And ultimately, we need to have a spirituality, which is incarnation, which is prophetic. Which is rooted in incarnational theology, in the prophetic ministry of the church. The church is prophetic. It cannot be otherwise. You sister, if you are to be the saviors of the world, are called to be prophetic, not otherwise. And finally, what are the commitments? Commitment is one word, but I put it in a few other dimensions. Okay? Our response to our world today should enable and ennoble us towards a relevant context. What is the word context in Austria today? In Germany, in Colombia, in, in, in Poland, in, um, in, in Austria, in the United States, in so many different parts of Africa that we are working, in the Philippines, in India. In many of the countries, of the 25, 30 countries that we are involved in here, you know, what is the context? Are we aware of the context to look to the realities and rights of the people? A great friend of mine who I met just once, Magno Paolo Freire, who died some years ago, he gave the world the pedagogy of the oppressed, the great contribution of the Brazilians towards the world. Read and study it. Okay? He speaks about critical consciousness. Iman Ili, which is on trip to other parts of South America. Okay? The whole question of de schooling society, we are running schools. But can we teach our students, people, to have a critical consciousness, to question why is this happening? This is wrong. The great educator, Paulo Freire, who wrote the pedagogy of the oppressed, who said we need to change from the banking system of education to a critical consciousness. We need to have deeper contemplation. St. Ignatius of Loyola constantly. And I like, thank you, sister, thank you, Teresa, thank you, Janet, for putting that Jesuit dimension. Even if I asked very stupidly, what is this big mansion there outside Borgo San Spirito? Okay? Uh, the Jesuit connection. Okay? And the spiritual exercises. The ability to be a contemplative slowly. Of, to be a contemplative in action. One of the things I left on and I do not know why is three key areas in the world. When I spoke about Sri Lanka and the emergence of life in the world, what happened in Sri Lanka today? When Sri Sri Sena was elected as president and when the one who was previous president, um, New book is not related to Sri Lanka, but for most of that part of South or Southeast Asia, South Asia. But suddenly the whole media comes to light. The one in which you have a lot of emotion is now almost becoming a dictator. And uh, so one wonders what they have had a lot of gold. Playboy gave in the 
I think what was on the chat? What is in India? They come in like Coca Cola and they try to sell a bottle of water. Okay. And in a, in a place like like the one the Coca Cola company in Kerala, they were using in Kerala, they were using cartridges of water to bottle their whole thing. Water which could not be fit for human consumption, a big company for the economy, uh, and for the growing the country. She is using water. Why am I not asking I do to do that class of work is doing? But I also have to ask and ask you, why don't you have that class of work to do? Why are you naked? Why are you hungry? Why are you here? And the one in one of them, of them, Mexican, which I've been to, on this great woman, also a man, um, you know, dead man walking, Susan Sarandon, you know what's her name, sister? Sister? Helen Freetown, at Metroid Market, and I'm a great debarker. She's working with the dead souls. She's asking, why are you still eating things? Okay. She may think that person is not necessary. But apart from that, languaging and eating the graves today are hundreds and thousands of people who are there in the graves because they have been robbing slippers from outside the country. The richest people in India who have destroyed India who have looted the country, who are some of the biggest criminals in the world, okay, are, are, are living in factory havens across the world. So they fled the country, you know, and, 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 and not to care, but to put their food on the table, you know, deprive them, deplete the right, right to life, the right to family. And ultimately, we need to ask ourselves, you know, People who don't pay taxes do not uh, throw their tax terms at the President of the United States. You know, you know, uh, it's all about because now he's our president, so it doesn't matter what he does. I think something wrong, something hypocritical of the world we live in. So, can we have great compassion? Yes, but lovingly also asking questions, challenging to say, I need. I need to be able to start with drinking water, but I also need to ask why are you thirsty? That's my question. These are collaborations. I spoke about this earlier, and collaboration is about networking. Working with other men and women. Doesn't matter if you're non Muslim or not. Doesn't matter if you're Hindu or Muslim, or Jew, or atheist, or party. Doesn't matter. I'm concerned about this issue. Human trafficking is wrong. The smuggling of human persons is wrong. War, war is wrong. Violence is wrong. Can we give ice cream, provide us a space so that we can meet in? Or are we saying, no, after six o'clock in the evening, we are all closed? Then we should fall against that. Fall against the monastic tradition to say it doesn't matter what's happening in the village. As long as in the morning, the villagers will come and give us. They are vegetables and they are getting brought up and bring it to the monastery. At six o'clock, if someone is dying in the village, I have to say my prayers or a lot and get up in the middle of it. I have to pray. He fought against this. He never said that we should not pray. He never said we should not say the, the office of the church. Okay? Many of us uh, are sinners and great, do not say. But, he said, ultimately, what matters is the price of the people. Can we treat our monastery, our community, our convent doors and gates open? We close them. We do high walls and we, you know, we talk about our security. There is this famous story of South America and American identity in Spanish, you know. Bishop called Pedro, and he was he went to Peter and said, I want to be Bishop Pedro. And Peter said, You know, this is a 
Son of God. Here, this is a beautiful word that we got in the book, and it's an extract. And the word says, it's a prayer for India, but it's a prayer for each one of us for this congregation, for the world. With the mind without ears, and the head is their eyes. Where knowledge is free. Where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic stories. Where words come out from the depths of truth. Where time is striving, stretches its, its arms towards perfection. With a clear stream of beauty, has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habits, of routine, of things we are doing this, we will never change. Where the mind is led forward by means, we go ever by the way to thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my dear sister live of the Savior. At this moment. And as a tiny symbol of today, I would like to share this with the people. The little symbol of what should be, um, you know, also a, a motto of the congregation. <laughs> uh, a little motto of what Jesus told, has told us. And Jesus has told us let your light. Shine. With a little Indian party, with a little Indian lamp, we have just finished the festival of lights in India, where the light of light has, you know, on the most auspicious festival of Indian people. And my hope and prayer is that the Sambhosho is the same. Wherever you are, from the far corners of um, of Tivoli uh, to the uh, Colombia, to the Philippines, to Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Africa, different parts of Africa, and very especially Brazil and everywhere else, that you may truly allow your life to shine.